of rain remaining where? <laughs> Up there. <laughs> Go, I think in the clouds. I'm no, quoting Babati. So ask me what uh, the millimeters mean, yes. but don't ask me how many millimeters remain up there. Mike, you have your answer. Because mm -hmm. that, that, that would be the work of somebody else. Oh, okay. We measure rainfall that is received uh -huh. in, uh, in that unit of millimeters, yes. millimeters of rainfall. Yes. What that translates to mm -hmm. is uh, if you pour water, one liter of water, mm -hmm over an area of uh, one meter, mm -hmm. one square meter, mm -hmm. that is waterproof. Mm -hmm. Let's say you have, uh, what would you call it, a bowl that is square, one mm -hmm. square meter. Mm -hmm. If you pour one liter, mm -hmm. if you measure the height of that water, it will give you one millimeter. So whatever measure we make, when we say it is uh, 6.7 millimeters, 10 millimeters, 140 millimeters, as was uh, recorded in one of our stations during the weekend, particularly on Saturday, yes. that is the equivalent of that. How many liters of water over that dimension or uh, figure that I have? Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, yes. that I have used so as to explain. That's, mm -hmm. that's what it means. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when we then look at the, um, you know, the cycles uh, that we are seeing in terms of war, uh, rain and water patterns, could these, would you attribute this as forecasters to the effects of climate change? Is that what you'd attribute this to? In fact, uh, in as much as we've had a history and we know that long rains and short rains should come in this specific period, the increased or enhanced rainfall. Well, increased or enhanced rainfall within mm -hmm. its own season mm -hmm. may not necessarily describe climate change, mm -hmm. but frequency can. Okay. When you have a higher frequency of climatic or severe events, such as uh, the drought that we experienced for five consecutive seasons, mm -hmm. or having more episodes of enhanced rainfall, mm -hmm. those may be described as characteristics of climate change mm -hmm. in that they have moved or they have uh, changed the pattern that was climatologically known over the past. Mm -hmm. We are now establishing new norms which will determine the climatology of various places mm -hmm. in the world over. But uh, th that is correct to say that mm -hmm. it is an aspect of uh, climate change. Mm -hmm. When it comes to enhanced rainfall over a place in a season, th that falls under the category of uh, climatology that uh, we would refer to as uh, climate variability, mm -hmm. where you find one season has this amount and it is still above normal, another season will give you another figure that would still be above normal. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it is below normal. That is climate variability. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. So then looking at how the situation is looking like, um, the, this long rains period, will it end in this new month that you're heading to just after tomorrow, that is um, May, because uh, between March, April and May is when you have the long rains. Uh, will this persist for a longer period and will the levels perhaps be higher? Thanks once again. Um, under normal con conditions, the long rains start in March and end in May. Yes. Uh, but that is not uniform. It's not for ev every part of the country. Mm -hmm. um, but in general, the season ends at towards the end of May. Mm -hmm. uh, there are places where it's, the season could end in the third week of May. Mm -hmm. And you will find that most times Whereas the season starts 
of uh, Western Kenya, you will find that uh, when the onset is observed at the coast towards the towards the, the when the other parts of the country are having a peak, mm -hmm. the, the over Western Kenya where the the season started, they will still be having heavy rainfall. Mm -hmm. And so you find that uh, the, the cessation of the season is uh, maybe the first week of June, mm -hmm. 